Hello everybody, baby on the VHS DVD of Blue Agency in 2001. Today, I'm going to bring you a VHS update for March 23rd, 2019. Today, I'm going to be showing you 10 VHS tapes that I got from eBay recently. Uh, first of all, Thursday, March 21st, I got 9 VHS tapes. And then yesterday, I got another one. So, makes it a total of 10 tapes. And I also got some bonus items to show you. Which I think you could probably see right now, but those are going to be saved till the end of the video. So, and I still have yet to receive some of my stuff, which either I will go in detail on them after the video, or I will put them down in the comments. So, let's get started. So, for the 9 VHS tapes, they were all in a lot bundle. And I mainly bought the lot bundle just for this tape right here. The 2002 VHS of Bob the Builder, Fun and Games. A Blockbuster exclusive. It's Kid Mungus exclusively from Blockbuster. 90 minutes of constructive fun. Two videos in one. The big game and Busy Bob and Silly Spud. And I know that Blockbuster did two more of these Bob the Builder VHS tapes, which are Nice Work Bob from Lyric Studios and Home Entertainment 2001 and Bob's Busy Day. I believe that's 2001 Hit Entertainment PLC. I think. Yeah. Yeah, this case is not in the best of shape. Some of it's faded, and I had to repair some of it with scotch tape, but the tape played fine, so that's all that matters. Blockbuster exclusive. Once again, the video was on the big game and busy Bob and Silly Spud, which I have those two under individual VHS tapes. And here's the information for what this tape has. I'm not going to read them. I feel like it. And the running time is 90 minutes. And I know Lyric for Life and Bob and Barney Channel has this tape. Unless Bob and Barney Channel has changed his username, which I think he did. I think it's Barney Fan 2001 or something like that. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it in the description. Here's the tape. And the print date is February 12, 2002. And this tape was actually damaged at the beginning when I got it, so, of course, I spliced it. And then after that, the rest of the tape played fine. Yeah, my first ever Bob the Building Blockbuster exclusive VHS. Pretty happy to get this. And now, the other eight tapes that were in the lot bundle. Uh, two of these I actually have no use for, but I might as well keep them because they're pretty rare. So, I might as well pull them out. Got me two Bob the Builder UK tapes. I'm not sure how these even ended up in the States, but the seller sold them to me anyway. So, this one is Bob the Builder Mucky Muck and Other Stories from 1999. I don't really think I'm going to read off anything off of these uh, UK tapes. I'm just going to show them. Here's the tip for this one. The print date, I believe, is March 1st, 2001. I could be wrong, but uh, if I am correct, then it's a later print. And here's the inside of the case. And the other Bob the Builder UK tape I got in the slot bundle is the one with no cover art, but it's Pilcher Ghost Fishing. And these tapes are pretty much no use to me because I did try playing these on my VCR, and as it turns out, my VCR is not region free. So, it's only able to play United States VHS tapes and Canadian VHS tapes. No UK tapes or any other uh, 
outside the United States with Canadian VHS tapes. That's it. But, uh, these look kind of cool, so I guess I'll keep them, but I won't be able to watch them unless I get a region free VCR, which I don't feel like doing that right now. So, I'll just keep them for fun. And the next three are the ones I actually already own. I'll just keep them as spares. This one has no cover art. It's another copy of the 2001 VHS of Bob the Builder, Pets in the Pickle. My old copy, well, I wouldn't say old because I'm still going to keep mine. Uh, my first copy had a print date of July 13th, 2001. This one has a print date of July 2nd, 2001. You probably cannot see it though. Here is another copy of the 2002 VHS of Bob the Builder, the big game. Only for this one, spine's faded right here. It's fine. I have a better conditioned copy. Here's the tape. The print date is November 29th, 2001. I believe my first copy had the same print date as this one. I think. And another copy of the 2002 VHS of Bob the Builder, Bob Saves the Day. Uh, the first copy I had was a Canadian copy. This one's the United States copy. The spine's also faded on this one, but that's okay. Use the tape, and the print date is... November 9th, 2002. Now for the three I didn't have all this time. The 2003 VHS of Bob the Builder Digging for Treasure, specially priced off you. I have the 2004 DVD of this video, and that was the only Bob the Builder specially priced off video to get a DVD release, while the other three were only available on VHS. So I actually need one more, which is Can Do Crew. But I say that because I still have yet to receive Machine Team Fun, which USPS choked on that one big time. It's going to be coming in late, unfortunately, which I am a little bit cheesed on that, but... Hey, at least I didn't end up with nothing for the update video, so... I guess I'll wait for a bit. The episodes are Scoop's Stegosaurus, Scrumpty Dog Detective, and Bob's Metal Detector. 30 minutes. And as you can tell, this side is very faded. It's fine, I don't care. The print date is November 4th, 2003. November 4th, 2003. And the next two are Canadian copies. And they're also the ones I didn't have all this time. The 2004 features of Bob the Builder, Muck's favorite adventures, contains a never-before-seen episode, Racing Mug. Join Mug as he teams up with Bob and his crew and four fun-filled adventures. This case looks fine. Not really that faded. The episodes are Racing Mug, Mucky Mug, Bob's Barn Racing, and Muck's Monster. And the running time is 35 minutes. Here's the tape. Another way you could tell this is a Canadian copy is because this is a black tape instead of a yellow tape. And the cartridge number is 7 out of 55. That's another way you can tell. And it's got a differently spelled favorite right there. It's got a U instead of without it. Same thing here with this next tape. The 2004 Beach has a Bob the Builder, Scoop's favorite adventures. Contains a never before seen episode. Mr. L's exhibition. Climb aboard with Scoop, Bob and his team, and four fun filled adventures. And I have this on DVD. But never had a VHS copy. Yeah, this side's also faded, but it's fine. The episodes are Scoop Saves the Day. Scoops in charge, 
Mr. Elves' exhibition and Scoops has some fun. This one's also 35 minutes. Use the tape. The cartridge number for this tape is 42 out of 55. And then the last VHS tape for this video is the one I got from eBay yesterday. Now this is a very tape. The 2005 VHS of the video of the Fairly Odd Parents schools out the musical. Oh, I can Fairly Odd Parents musical special. I had to buy this tape because this is pretty rare. I also have the DVD. So now I have the VHS copy to go with it. Summer was supposed to be the best eight weeks of the year, but not when your parents send you to Flappy Bob's Camp Lunatorium. Find out what happens when Timmy wishes kids called all the shots in this rockin' musical journey. Not me, dude, and that's 47 minutes. And I had to rewind this tape, so... So, I uh, used the tape. It's got oversized reels, too. So, my first ever Paramount VHS with oversized reels. Cool. Two print dates. 15th week of 1993. And the 19th week of 2005. So, this is a recycled tape. And inside, it came with this Nickelodeon magazine business supply card. Which is not in the best condition. It's been creased badly. So... It makes it even harder for me to get the tape back in. Ah, oh, I think I fixed it. Okay. And before I end the video, I have two bonus items to show you. If y'all remember my Blue's Clues Handy Dandy Notebook Collection video I did a little while back, I did tell y'all I was for the new ones I'm going to be getting, I'm going to show them in the video. Well, here's the perfect chance, because I got two more to show you. I'm going to show off the one I got from eBay on March 21st, $80 brand new, and it's the Blues Clues Blue Zoom Double Sided Notebook. So this is the Blue Zoom side, the spiral's yellow, it's got a blue board over it, it's got this puppet thing on it, and attached to it is uh, the eraser. Might as well uh, open this up and show off what's in here. Uh, blank pages with the quotes from the show. And if you flip it over, it's the Blue's Clue side. The red border, the digging chair, oh, and the wall background, and the copyright information. And the pages, this time, the, the wall background for playing Blue's Clues. Rather than the uh, plain yellow pages. And that's it. And here's the crayon, which is got poked out over the crayon wrapper. So that's the Blue Swim double sided notebook. Once again, I bought this for $80 brand new. And then the last one I have you. It's the handcrafted birthday notebook from the episode Blue's Birthday. So, uh, it's got a, a bow and ribbon over the notebook. Kind of looks like the original, but like I said, it's got birthday wrappers over it. Same red spiral, and the bag has also got the ribbon wrappers over it paper so yeah and then the current of course so that's the handcrafted birthday notebook and there you go that's gonna wrap it up for this VHS update for March 23rd 2019 and I think I'm gonna go ahead and list the items I'm still expecting from eBay down in the comments below because we're about to hit the 15 minute mark not that it matters but I don't want to make this video any more longer than it's already has been, so thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you on the next video. This is Fabian, the VHS DVD, Blaine, CD Fan 2001, signing out.